Hi guys, welcome to Electric Radiators Direct, the home of electric heating. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favourite benefits of electric radiators, zoned heating. If you've never heard that term before, don't worry, I'll be giving you the lowdown on what it is, how it works and all the ways it can help save energy. As always, hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell for more electric heating content. So what do I mean by zoned heating? It's basically an energy saving approach to heating a property. Instead of having the whole system work together, you can manage your heaters independently or in groups. By creating distinct zones throughout your home, you're able to fine tune schedules and temperatures that truly reflect your routine and the needs of each room. Since it's unlikely you'll need every single area of your home heating at the same temperature at the same time, zoning your heating is an incredibly simple but effective way of cutting out waste. So whether that's having the heaters in your living room turn on for when you get home from work, or you want a cooler temperature in your bedroom, zoned heating makes that and more possible. Now we've got the basics out of the way, how does zoned heating work exactly? Well, electric radiators contain no moving parts. They're not connected to a boiler or pipework. They simply plug into a socket and get their electricity straight from the mains. This not only makes them 100% efficient at point of use, but means they're modular standalone appliances that can be controlled independently or within a larger framework. A simplified version of zoned heating would be turning the radiators you don't need off at the wall. However, since most electric radiators come with highly precise built-in thermostats, zoning your heating couldn't be easier or more intuitive. You can accomplish this by manually setting a schedule through your heater's digital interface. Alternatively, since many are also compatible with a smart device via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, you can manage any changes from the ease of an app. App control is without a doubt the easiest way to zone your heating. Since you can group heaters together with just a few taps of your smartphone, copy and paste settings over different days, make ad hoc changes, or pair your heaters to a smart speaker for totally hands-free heat management. It's so effortless on your part, but just by having that extra bit of control over your heating, it's going to result in huge savings. It's also worth noting that with infrared panels, you can zone your heating in a really unique way. You see, infrared heat works by traveling in a wave that is absorbed directly by objects. It doesn't heat the air, so very little warmth is lost in the process. So let's say you install an infrared panel directly targeting the main seating areas in your living room. It will deliver direct focus heat without any overspill keeping you warm whilst you watch TV. It creates a form of zoned heating that bypasses the issues of a convection heater, particularly when dealing with an open space or draft prone space. Okay, so you might be wondering if you can zone your heating with other systems like gas or heat pumps. Well, you can to an extent. Heating solutions that rely on a centralized boiler or pipework make zoning difficult, since you have to kickstart the whole system just to heat one or two rooms. To work around this, you'd need to manually turn off the thermostatic valve on each of your radiators, which is neither practical nor foolproof in the long term. Another option is to invest in a smart thermostat which typically only creates zones out of entire floors instead of individual rooms. So you still won't be able to fine tune your heating as effectively as you would with smart electric heating. Plus, since this is an optional extra and not a built-in feature, you'll be spending more to emulate what electric radiators can already do better. So let's take a closer look at how zoned heating saves energy. First, you'll no longer waste energy heating unused areas of your home. Guest bedrooms, utility spaces, your downstairs toilet, these aren't spaces you'll typically spend an extended amount of time in. So why bother heating them if you can help it? A typical example would be creating a zone for your bathroom, so you can dry your towels without having to turn on the radiators elsewhere. Or if you're hunkering down in your home office for the next few hours, you can make sure comfort levels are maintained without wasting heat on the rest of the house. Heating zones also apply to rooms that are more susceptible to the cold or overheating. A poorly insulated conservatory or a heat trap of an attic room are going to have very specific heating needs compared to the rest of the house. With zoned heating, you can customize temperatures and settings in any way you see fit. Other sophisticated features of your electric radiators will work in tandem to regulate your heating with minimal waste. Open window detection, adaptive start, and motion sensor control are just some of the things that you can use alongside zoned heating to benefit from the most efficient, cost-effective system possible. 
So there we have it. If you like the idea of only heating the rooms you want when you want, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of zoned heating in the comments below. If you have any questions or if there's something you want us to cover in a future video, we want to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.